Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Enjoy Life After 50. I'm Karina Malmstedt. I would like to inspire you to keep on doing things even though you're getting older. I just turned 54 in the beginning of November. I don't feel any difference, really. It's just a number. Today I'm going to tell you how I learned Spanish in three months. So listen up. decided to move to Spain, to Barcelona, I decided to learn Spanish. I think that when you live in a country, you need to learn the language. Of course, they speak a lot of English here, you can uh, cope with that. I think in the way of getting integrated, to be able to get more out of this uh, trip here, I am now learning Spanish. The first thing I did it was that this summer I loaded down the app Duolingo. Duolingo is a free app. You could also pay, of course. I have stayed in the free version because I think it's enough. You learn enough. The Duolingo app looks like this. And here you can see that I have a couple of uh, Lila. And that means that I am ready on that level. Then you have a lot of other that you could choose from. I think this is a good app. There is other apps as well. I am proud. I can read pretty good and I can write pretty good. The thing is now to speak. That uh, is the next step for me, to start to speak. Because if I start to speak today and say something and they start to talk in Spanish back, they are talking fast and I don't understand anything. So that's my goal right now, to, to be able to have a communication uh, in Spanish. the Duolingo app. The Duolingo app for me is that I am learning Spanish from English. Here in Barcelona we are in Catalonia and that's uh, one part of, of Spain and they also speak another language is called Catalonia. It sounds a little bit like Spanish, I really don't know the, the difference but I'm first going to learn Spanish Spanish and then some words in Catalonia. It is like uh, when you're living in Sweden, uh, I come from Sweden, and you have the neighbors, you have Norway, you have Denmark. It's good to uh, get to know a little bit of those languages as well uh, because then you can understand each other. But I start with Spanish Spanish. Then I realized now after a couple of months practicing Spanish every day, I realized that this Duolingo app, it's Mexican Spanish. There is a couple of words like el carro, that's car, but I just realized that car in Spanish Spanish is coche, but I think pretty much it's the same. I could kind of learn on the way if I got it totally wrong. What is annoying me sometimes is if I know the Spanish sentence. I write it in English, but perhaps I write the does instead of do. Then it's wrong. So you have also to write English in, in the, the right way. Otherwise you will get it as wrong, even though you understand the, the Spanish sentence. But it is uh, it's the way it is. So for me, the speaking part, I'm now looking at a lot of series on Netflix uh, that are Spanish and then with an uh, English subtitle. And I'm kind of learning new words by looking at those Spanish series. And I'm also trying to talk some Spanish when I'm up. But I think I need a um, private tutor so I get the experience of talking uh, Spanish. But I'm practicing Spanish every day. I've really decided to learn it. I don't think it's harder to learn a language now when you are over 50. I just think it's fun. It's uh, as easy as it was when I was young. Don't tell me that when you're getting older that you can learn new things. I've also learned how to post on YouTube. That's also something I've done, done quite recently. So hey, come on, the age doesn't make you old. 
it is the fear of doing new things that makes you old. So keep on doing things, it could be small things. It doesn't have to be bungee jumping or diving or any extreme things. It could just be the small things that kind of uh, get you outside your comfort zone and make that your new comfort zone. I hope you like this episode. Please continue to follow me, subscribe, give me a thumb up, push that notification bell. Also give me a comment. What have you been learning? Or do you have any tip on how to even get to know the language even faster than I do? See you soon. Bye bye. Enjoy life.